so uh, for predictive analytics as i said you need a uh, date dimension must and it would be more uh, suitable if you represent the predictive analytics uh, charts in line chart actually line chart is the one one of the most preferable chart for predictive analytics or forecasting so as i said the date dimension is must you can choose any date like number of weeks uh, number of quarters number of months so i'm first adding this month to sheet okay let's not use this database actually i will just use the database of another uh, view like this one so i have this uh, month add it to sheet and then a uh, revenue so this month by revenue now the first thing what i have to change is format then you can change this uh, type of this uh, revenue the the representation then you can it's the daily swing which is a very long format you can make them a uniform format that is uh, say i'll have to change it custom way mmm hyphen y y y y okay now this looks nice now what else i can do here i can add the revenue to this label to show the label uh, you know revenues on the top here <laughs> Let's make the color as you say uh, the static uh, the the past data are showing in. So just assume in green. Okay, this is my current data. Now I will just define the future data would be showing uh, a red or orange. Okay. So I will just keep this name as what? Predictive. predictive analytics okay now these all data is are having with me okay so just assume we are here in december 2012 so just assume i have i mean the current data current date of my system and current date is 2012 now say we have to forecast the future say 6 uh, months we have to forecast the future 6 month data on 6 month growth of my business okay let's see what would be my uh, revenue in 6 month down the line so to enable predictive analytics go to analysis then here we have the option called forecast why the forecast is not here why it is not enabled today Mm-hmm. It must be an apple. Why? Because uh, okay. Let's not do any changes on this. I think I have just changed the format, so that's why it's not able to understand it. So okay. Huh. yeah I, i just added the, the um, uh, i made a mistake actually i have to uh, add a uh, direct direct date not uh, calculated field okay while you're doing a, a predictive analysis just add a date and you can change the dimension here so here we have the this date this one this is the original date of my database and these are all the what these are all the calculated fields because you are able to see the equal to sign so here you can generate a month also just add it to the dimension dimension and instead of this date just create this as month i don't want to show very huge data so let this month be there like this Okay, so this data has a difference with that data which I have added because I just added the calculated fields. Then I can format it. This will work now. You have to change my name to make it shorten. 
wait, 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 wait. Okay. Now, change the axis also. I'm going to change the axis as month. Here, the axis is revenue. Now, it looks good. Okay. Here, in the analysis, you would get this forecasting is enabled. Earlier, why it was not enabled? Because I just added a calculated field. I didn't add it the direct date field because if you just add the calculated field, the data type of that uh, date is changed to a uh, uh, string. So I want a purely a date attribute. So that's why I have to add the direct date attribute to the dimension and you can change the type here. Okay. You can change the date attribute to year, quarter, month, anything. So I just added now the forecasting option is enabled. So here you can define so forecast. Okay, click here. Instantly it will not work properly because I just not added anything. Okay, I just enable the forecast here. Now go to forecast, and here we have the option called forecast option. Click here. Now what is my dimension here? Can anybody tell me? My dimension is month, right? So I have to make the forecasting in this way. Like you have to select aggregation by month. You have to select like this aggregation by month. Then forecast length. What would be the future you want to predict? How long future uh, days you want to predict? I want to predict up to six months down the line. Okay. From today up to six months, I want to see my future. So let's make it up to next six month now one two three four five six maybe a little bit more let's make it a little bit more okay up to 10 months i am able to see here Okay, I just made it at one year. Okay, I just made it one year data. So because I have used the source data on aggregation by months, so I cannot use this year directly here. I have to use months as 12 years, 12 months. Okay, up to 12 months. Next 12 months. Okay, so here till now also the prediction is not enabled because I'm able to see a you know very linear line here so you can define uh, here there's an option called ignore last one month so I just make it as zero because starting from today only I want to see my future from tomorrow and so on so then now come to forecast model now what is model model is a list of algorithm or list of formulas which builds a model okay there can be different type of algorithms are there like additive algorithm or multiplicating uh, a multiplicative algorithm or in other technologies you used to write the custom formulas but here in tableau it's just providing the automatic features so automatic without sensitivity you can choose like this else i can make it custom so custom would be the best fit to my requirement. I just use the custom. I have to define the trend. What would be my trend and what would be my forecast algorithm? So there are different additive and multiplicative algorithm here. So additive would be best fit here because I mean I just watching to my past and based on that past uh, performance, I'll just add some values to my future. I'll not run so uh, faster that it would be a multiplicating algorithm i'll just add one by one value to my future to get uh, the you know some result which should be relevant to my past experience okay so now this is the trend so that means if you are you know if you are seeing the trend that the trend showing that my business would grow it would not be less because my trend is an off you know it's it's uh, just a kind of increasing now then season it can be additive also so now if you're making a season is additive 
both you have to make a reality here now you are able to see here the prediction now so prediction interval that is 90% 95% and 99% so these are the interval basically if you don't want to show this one it would not show the interval interval means say uh, your forecast will come tomorrow like you will be having this much of uh, rainfall you will be having this much of uh, you know snowfall but there should be some variance also based on the prediction there can be some variance because no prediction can be 100% accurate so in that variance you may choose some tolerance level ok that is what the interval is so the tolerance level is this can be up to this much high or can be this much less but it will never go beyond this because in your past history your performance never been so less because you know, looking into the performance of a student in the past different uh, several classes you can just predict that this student will come in first or second or third in class ok because he has the performance up to this level so if the prediction is uh, that if he will come first in the class the tolerance can be there that he may come the second but he will never come last in the class right so this is what the prediction is now I can just give the better view and better look and feel to this predictive analytics chart here I can select this estimation estimation can be say I will define here edit color estimate I will just make it uh, say orange and this I will make it probably like this one or maybe green ok this is my prediction data and this is my current data now in order to have a better visibility I will just add a trend here trend means the performance or the average line of your cells so if this is my uh, data of sales or revenue data so if you just consider the trend the trend line will go like this from here to here like this will be the average of every month so if your average revenue is uh, 5 lakhs it can be you know uh, it can be uh, more maybe at 7 lakhs or it can be 3 lakhs but average is 5 lakhs here so that is so as a trend so how to enable trend in the any typical chart just send, go to analysis here we have the trend line just below to forecast just show trend line this looks the, it's you know making the charts is more little bit uh, complex and also it's looking beautiful because you have a better visibility that how your trend will be showing so trend is inclined or declined this trend is inclined that means your growth will be always high it will never fall down this trend is not inclined or not declined it is completely parallel to the horizon so it is average is ok we are not in loss or we are not in profit actually so much profit <laughs> but in future the trend is showing inclined and average trend is also can be follow to this level or to, up to this level so this is the average band and this is average line sales of each month may be 50,000 may be 60,000 may be 70,000 so if it is 70,000 and 50,000 the average would be 60,000 ok so this is what we, has call, we are calling it as a predictive analysis I mean make sense